Welcome back. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Pristine uh, Productions here. And I want to shout out all to the fans. Uh, be sure to hit me up on YouTube. And um, I got some uh, tricks for you. Uh, shout out to the fans for all the supporting. And also, uh, be sure to check out my course craft link if you want to learn a mix pro dance hall in the box. Mixing pro reggae afro beat in the box. Mixing pro reggae in the box, which is my number one seller, guys. You can check that out. Go uh, to my uh, pristine production uh, dot Clip shop now. Get the latest stems and uh, MIDI files on the uh, soca trap music, dancehall music, reggae music. Uh, be sure also to subscribe uh, to my new channel as well. My official artist channel is here, guys. I'm up to 26 subscribers, so I'm gonna need your help, guys. Support me and follow uh, the gospel music that I'm shoving here. But uh, today uh, we have a very uh, special. Uh, session here for you we're gonna talk about studio one 5.4 which is out now and i'm going to talk about the top features here uh which you can use to make your uh, take your production to the next level and features that help you get around uh, studio one here so let me dive right into it here Let's get down to it. So the first session here, uh, we're going to talk about um, the first feature, of course, is going to be the export here. So I'm here in Studio One, and uh, I go on File, I go to Song, and here you have the uh, import, you have the export. So I'm going to go on the Export Mix Down here. So I'm going to click on Export Mix Down, and check this out. Uh, Studio One has now, uh, Studio One 5.4 has now given us the option to do a multiple mix down. For example, let's say the client wants a, a 16, let's say a 24 bit uh, wave resolution here. They can get that. If they want an MP3 version as well, I can tick the box there. I can set the bit rate. If they want a MP4, uh, a M4A file or a FLAC. All these is going to be compressed in this one bounce down here. So that's pretty handy on the export here. So rather than just going a WAV file, send a 16-bit to the client uh, or 24-bit, then i got to go in the session again and go to MP3. Now we, have, we can uh, export them all here if I want to, or just the MP3 and the WAVs master. You put in your, your file name, and uh, you go ahead and go to the mix down. Uh, of course, you can change the resolution to AAC or AL, ALAC with waves. So that's the new export uh, feature, dear. So I'm going to get into rhythm here. Now, the next one here, I'm going to go to the uh, mix window here. I'm going to show you another feature here. you call sends so let's say I have multiple sends here I'm gonna go to this vocal here Ooh, yeah. so I'm saying that to reverb delay um, yeah. studio one have the feature now let me find that track real quick that's on the uh, left track there okay oh. Now I can go to this drop down button here and I can click remove all and it takes out all the sends in one click you know so I can hit control Z and bring all of them back rather than going on remove 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 I can just click on a drop down and just remove all the sends here which is a pretty handy tool there. Now the next feature that I want to show you guys is also bus channel now I, I can uh, solo the buses in a uh, mono mode I can switch them into monitor in mono mode so let's say 
um, I bring up my drum bus here. This is just the drums. You see this double uh, little icon here, channel mode. I can hit that. This is what it's gonna sound like in mono. Switch it back, let's go back into stereo. If I wanna isolate just the music here, and I want to monitor what it sounds like in mono. I can click on this button here and, and goes on mono, one signal here. And then it goes back to stereo with the bow signal you can see here. Just like the, the main switch here. So I'm going to go now on the, the fourth feature, which is uh, one I think is a big plus in Studio One 5.4. Which is a free update, by the way, if you own Studio One, if you have Studio One 5 running in your in your system. Let me uh, go back to the rhythm here. To the rhythm here. The third one is the uh, plugin nap. So if I go on Studio One here, I go on Options here. I'm sorry. Go on View and go down to Performance Monitor. I'm gonna go there and you can see there is now a feature here. Let me bring this window up. I'm gonna go on show devices here. Now I have some uh, reverb uh, plugins running here. I have the SSL uh, channel strip running here, which is using about 12% here. Now I have the plug-in nap here. What this does is when the plugins is not uh, been used or is not active, Studio One is gonna put this thing to sleep, so it free up, it frees up more CPU here. So I'm gonna stop the track here. I'm gonna click enable, plug in a nap. You can see if I turn it off, it's about 10%. If I turn it on, it goes to about. It's gonna it, it's gonna be going down. There it is, 8.8 percent here. You can see some little moon here. The little moon is coming around these uh, plugins because they are not being used. They're not active. And so from 10%, I, I get 8% because they're not being used. And the good thing about this is I'm gonna play the track. Let's say you have sessions going on in your, in your mix window here. And uh, certain plugins uh, is, let's say a solo or just maybe a bridge. You have a uh, plugin that is using a lot of um, CPU usage here. When uh, that plugin is, is finished uh, processing whatever it needs to do on that particular part of the song and it's not being used anymore and not, uh, no signals going through it, the enable plugin nap, it, those plugins are going to go to sleep. So that's a very, a very hefty feature there. Enable a plugin nap. So the recap, guys, uh, and this is just uh, about four features here. There's another one with the chord track that shows you um, the chords as you play. Um, it gives you a display, a follow-up screen. I'm not going to get into that because I'm, I'm going to the main features I think a lot of producers would, 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 would love. Uh, remember, the first feature here is a go-to-song is the export feature, which um, you can go to export mix down, and you have the you can export all different types of uh, audio format in one export rather than doing one by one. And the the second one is you can now uh, take off all your stems with the remove all drop down there. The third feature is I can monitor my buses to mono and stereo mode just by clicking that little icon there. And the fourth, of course, is the CPU saver, which I think is a, a, is a complete gem. I go on view, I go on performance monitor here, and I turn on enable plug-in nap. And the plug-in that is not being used too often in the session here is gonna go to sleep. By putting this, uh, you know, this CPU energy saver here. And uh, those are the features I wanted to share, share with you uh, with uh, Studio One 5.4, which is a free update for Studio One 5 uh, users. Remember, guys, uh, make sure you support me. Uh, go on my website, ChristineProduction.Website.com. You can uh, get a hold of my mixing courses. A sample of this is out on my YouTube page, uh, which is getting a lot of reviews. And be sure to subscribe to my artist channel as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.